Hi everyone, welcome to my channel once again. This is Intuitive Edge. Thanks for joining me. It's time to take a look at the Maricopa Audit. Let's take a look at this. Uh, rumors are that the results are going to be coming out maybe this week, maybe not, but sometime soon. And uh, so let's take a look at this. I've just got four cards. I laid them out already. Let's take a look. So what will be the results? What's going to be coming out with that? First card out is the challenge card. And we have the Fool card. The Fool card. Now this person is blissfully walking along, unaware he's about to fall off of a cliff. Uh, this is a card of kind of, this is the beginning. The new phase where you dive in into something brand new and it's kind of sink or swim. Everything is gonna be out on the table. Now, the obstacle that this, that this, uh, audit result is facing is the Sun card. Now having the Sun card come out tells me several things. The first thing it means it puts a positive spin on the whole thing. So regardless of what might be coming out with the audit, the overall picture is going to be positive. Okay, so keep that in mind. The Sun brings positivity. Now, also with this sun card, it brings what? Shedding light, bringing light onto something. And this person being on the back of that horse, unclothed, is like you're being exposed. It's coming to light, it's being exposed. And that's the obstacle that this fool is facing, is there's gonna be light and nowhere to really hide. It's going to be all out in the open. Okay. The, uh, the outcome for this is the card of getting the upper hand. So this looks really positive for the challenge, the obstacle, and the outcome for this audit. Uh, I do think it will, the results will be positive. It will shed light on things and it will determine uh, one someone getting the upper hand, okay? Now, kind of contrary to the energy of those three is the lesson that we're learning. And the lesson card is none other than the tower, bringing the whole thing down. Uh, this is a card of, just like it shows, kind of destruction, cataclysm, bringing things to an end. And that's interesting that that's the lesson. That's gonna be kind of what's going to come out of all of this. That's the lesson we're gonna learn, is that some things with this exposure from the sun, this positive energy, with getting the upper hand, it's going to necessitate having to start over or bring to an end something that is time for it to come apart. So I think there's going to be some sweeping changes as a result of this audit. And we may probably see what those are in the coming months. But having that tower tells me there's a lot that's going to have to be probably brought back to the drawing board and starting over from scratch. And it's going to expose a lot. So it should really be interesting to see what comes. Uh, the overall being positive is nice. We have the wisdom card kind of bringing it up underneath. The card of intuition, wisdom, and truth. And subtleties. So I think we're going to see a lot of changes happen as a result of this audit. So with the overall results being good, it'll be interesting to see how that all pans out. So I just wanted to give a quick peek at what I see coming with the Arizona audit. Okay, real quick here, I wanna jump in one more time before you go. Um, I asked another question and I had to show you guys this. My question was, has Donald Trump been briefed um, 
on the results of the Arizona audit. In other words, has he seen it? Has he been briefed on what the outcome is? Has he been told? Has he been informed? I got some pretty incredible cards on that. Um, you know, he sent out a cryptic kind of note on his uh, America, I don't know, is it on his America First little page that he puts his updates now. And it said, one down, nine to go. And people are like, what does that mean? You know, Arizona maybe is that. But I think that he has been informed and told what the results of the Arizona audit are. And I want to show you how I believe that to be the case. The first card out on that is the fool. Okay, setting out on a new adventure, something new. But it's got this super positive card crossing it. This is the obstacle card incredibly positive card the ten of cups ten of cups crossing the fool um, up top is the lovers card which is a card of partnerships um, down below down below we had the six of cups card of innocence and a partnership card again bringing up the back coming into the background fading into the past but um, so we had two cards of partnership. So I think he has been briefed. That to me uh, signified people coming together, partnering up, sharing with him. He also had this card on the forward position, which is the future. The Ten of Pentacles. Again, a really strong, solid card. He had the Seven getting the upper hand. We just saw that one in the last spread. We have the Star on on the environment around I mean this whole spread is so incredibly positive every card here um, the only difficult challenging card this five of, of Pentacles is in the position of worries or fears or what we think you know and then there's a card about taking risk so again it all lines up and then we have this new opportunity looking ahead to the future so now that we have all of this together these these positive really positive cards coming out this is like okay this is that one down nine to go now that now that we've completed this one we've got our sights set ahead on new opportunities down the road that's what i think that is and then the thing that clinched it for me was the bottom card underneath all of this is the wheel of fortune so to me, I believe that President Trump has, if he hasn't seen the report, perhaps, I don't know, um, but he has been briefed on it. He's been made aware of what the findings are. And that, I think, is why he said one down, nine to go. I think he, it's already been done. It's already in the bag. And sites are on the other nine, whichever nine those are. I lose track, but... I was trying to count them the other day. I was like, nine? I thought there were seven. Anyway, nine to go, whatever that means. But I think it's looking ahead to the future. So just had to share that in there. Okay. Going to be interesting to see what happens with all of this. Thanks for joining me, everyone. We'll catch you next time. Bye.